So yes, I know that uh, this movie technically came out last year, but uh, the English dub only came out last week, so I feel like I w should talk about because I was able to see it in theaters this uh, this week, and that movie is one of the single most successful animes ever made, only behind Spirit Away, uh, Kimi no Nawa, or as the English translation ca is called, Your Name. Let's hit the cafe later. Thanks, but I gotta go to work. I can't stand this place anymore. It's too small and close-knit. What is with you, Tokyo? Why am I that close? Where am I? I've been having some strange dreams lately. Like a dream about someone else's life. What is this? <gasps> What this? What could this mean? In our dreams, that girl and I were switching places. So, uh, yes, your name. Um, I only heard about the most positive things walking into this movie. It got critical acclaim. Besides Spirit Away, it's the highest-grossing um, domestic Japanese film ever in Japan ever. And so I walked in with high expectations. And does it live up to the hype? Yes, it does. It really does. I love this movie. This is a fantastic movie, and yeah, so let's get into it. Uh, now, for those who don't know the setup to this movie, uh, the general premise of this movie, it's about uh, two high schoolers who live in Japan, a boy and a girl. Uh, one lives in Tokyo, the other one lives in rural, rural Japan, and neither of them have ever met each other, heard of each other, seen each other, had any form of contact with one another. But uh, one day, they wake up in each other's bodies, and they keep, but the thing is, they keep swapping back and forth. It's not like they're just stuck in the other person's body. And at first, well, they try to just kind of dismiss what's going on as a dream but then they start to realize no this must actually be happening and that's all I can really say without going into spoilers but and I just don't want to spoil anything about this movie uh, at, at all so that but that's the general setup uh, let's talk about the good and bad of this movie though so uh, the good to this movie let me just say this first the animation in this movie is just jaw-dropping it's all but I'm not mistaken, it's all hand-drawn anime, and it just looks so spectacular from beginning to end. It honestly just has some of those inspired moments of um, animation anime I've ever seen, especially that, well, like, the from the minor things, just how pretty they're able to make the uh, rural town the girl lives in, or just the city of Tokyo look in this film. And not just that, though, the main image that they keep going back to, the image of the comet in the sky, it's just... That is, was just absolutely gorgeous, and it was just incredible, and so, if you can see this movie on the big screen, I would highly recommend it, because it is just one of those beautiful pieces of animation ever brought to film, and I... I, I applaud this movie for doing that, um, but it's not just uh, fantastic animation that carries this film, uh, the characters in this film are incredibly likable, I mean, I know there's been some complaints by critics that they're not com particularly complex characters, but they don't need to be complex characters. Like, what, what's it gonna be? Like, the, probably the best example I can think of is, like, most um, Miyazaki characters in this film. Like, those, most of his characters, they're not very complex people, people, but they're incredibly likable people, so you want to go through this movie with them. You want to know what happens to these people because you like them so much, and... <laughs> That's how it is in this movie. The, all the characters, um, the, the main two especially, and that and, that and uh, the girl's sis, little sister, that girl was amazing. Um, they're just so likable, and you wanted to see how things were going to end with them, and uh, that's one of the best things about this movie, is you just like these characters so much. And I also just have to give this movie credit for being one of the most, probably, probably the most uh, creative love story I've ever seen in cinema, just... Well, for one, just the initial setup, like, I thought that was cool. Oh, make a love story about, like, the body switching plot device. And I also thought it was, an, like, it, the, it was a more interesting play on that for the fact that usually with that kind of stuff, with, the, with films that use, like, body swapping as a plot point, like, it's usually involves, it's usually, it's usually two people who don't like each other from different, like, social groups that have never really noticed each other. No, the idea that 
these two have never met each other or are com at all aware of the other other's existence and not just that though the fact that they it's not like they're trapped in their bodies they keep in the other person's body they keep swapping back and forth and it was very it was incredibly interesting i was wondering where it was going with that and that's the big thing of this movie, just know you may think like I did, like, going off the press, oh, I know exactly where this movie is going. No, you don't, probably, because you probably only know where a third of this movie is going, because honestly, it just goes somewhere where you would not think it's going in the slightest, and it. I love this movie for that, for being such an unpredictable movie, and it's pretty great. Now, the one thing I really want to talk about this movie, because I heard this has been a complaint for the few people who didn't like it, but this is what I say good animation and good anime can do can do more than any other form of film, and that's play into your emotions. The Because I've been hearing online, like I've seen uh, critics and the few critics and people online who didn't like this, their main complaint, like, it's not a very com they're not complex characters like when you get to, it's not a very complex story like cause yeah like when you get down to it it's basically just a love story and at its heart this is, at its heart this is just a love story between two people and but here's the thing though this is this is what people like Miyazaki are able to do so well they are able to not play into your logic, they're able they're able to play not play into the part of you that like wants like complex characters or like very interesting themes and films. No, they're able to play into your emotion more than anything else. That's what Miyazaki and this movie does. It plays into your emotion from beginning to end. Um, because. Like I said, like, the characters, they are not very complex, but they are extremely likable. Like, it is just a love story, but because the characters are so likable, you really do care about their, uh, their... their, 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 uh, relationship with each other, and that, and the fact that it's just... Just the animation itself, the fact that it is just such gorgeous animation that just, it gives, it's very beautiful images telling the story that it may, makes you play into the emotion of it, the emotion and not the, not the logic part of you that when it comes to cinema and let me tell you because of that, like a lot of Miyazaki's works and a lot of, um, a lot of Miyazaki's works in this film, like this is a very emotional movie. This movie is able to tug at all your heartstrings, like, from beginning to end. Like, when I saw this movie, like, I was in a pack theater, uh, like, I heard multiple people in my audience burst into tears, like, <laughs> and at several occasions through this film because they were so emotionally invested with the, these characters and this plot. And that's what this movie's able to do, because think about it, like, Think about it, some of Miyazaki's better works. Like, think about, like, Spirit Away or, like, My Neighbor Totoro. Are these characters complex? Is this, like, a creative story? No, it's really not. Um, now, don't get me wrong, Spirit Away is a very creative visually, but story-wise, it's not. It's... But... That, like I said, though, you... People love this movie because it plays into the emotion, not the logic, and... Like I said, that's why when this movie wants me emotional, it pull, it's able to tug on all the heartstrings, and I will admit I got teary-eyed in a few scenes because I did just care about these characters so much. And even though, when you get down to it, when you got down to it, like I said, it is just a love story between these two. I really did want to see what would happen to these two, and I really did care about them. So that's what this movie does, which I feel some people don't get. It plays into the emotion, and I love movies that do that. But I will say this, though. Um, this movie does essentially just start becoming a 90-minute exercise in how much a writer and director can dick around with its audience, because there is about several, seven times in this movie, it fooled me into thinking it was about to uh, cut to black and end, and I was just, like, sc uh, like just grasping at my seat and I said, no, it cannot end this way. It cannot end like this, and... It just, it's just like there were I like there was there was oh, I did hear one person in my theater when they honestly thought it was gonna end like it was one point I thought it was gonna end they were just going no we can end the end just know that walking into this movie it does it does very well at playing into your emotion but it does kind of take advantage of that fact from time to time so 
I just gotta I just wanted to mention that quickly. So, just to summarize my thoughts on this movie one last time, Positive's extremely likable characters with a very likable uh, romance between the main two, a jaw-droppingly gorgeous animation, and an incredibly creative story for me, 10 is why I am giving your name a very solid 10 out of 10. I love this movie. This is just fantastic. Go see it if you can, and I just love this, but eh. That's all I can really say, I just love this movie. But quickly as a side note, um, English translators, uh, I know it's your job, but can you please stop translating the lyrics to Japanese music in anime? It's just always awkward and weird and unintentionally hilarious sometimes, just, just, just don't. And I, I know it's your job, but don't do that. So that was your name, I love it. That's all I can say. YouTube, as always, please subscribe, and I will see you next time. Okay, bye.